the Ryan Sports and Entertainment Promotions to welcome you to a brand new year. Welcome to the first edition of the Ryan Sports and Entertainment Promotions Galactic Sports Wrap for the 2013 year. Hello once again sports and sports entertainment fans. I'm David Barnes, owner of Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions, bringing you the news and events from Intergalactic Independent Wrestling and the pride and honor fighting Vicks Martial Arts Promotions. As usual, we're starting things off with the results of the Intergalactic Independent Wrestling weekly television show, Collision. The Cowboys from Hell started the final month of 2126 by defeating the TNT Boys in the first match of the December 5th episode of Collision when Terry was disqualified for repeatedly ramming Ballistic's head into the security force field barrier at ringside. Bootylicious Bertha pinned the Irish Hellcat Shannon Egans with her finisher, the Booty Bomb. The 18 Wheelers defeated the Clan McFlynn when Peter Bilt pinned Jason McFlynn with the Wheelers finisher, the fifth wheel. The dark cloud of bad luck continues to hang over the head of the wannabe salt drink developer Cola as he was pinned by the IIW transsexual Roseanne Palmer by way of a double arm set out DDT. The Sioux Warrior Bison pinned Sebastian Rook by way of his finisher, the Extinction. Lady Contessa Windsor was disqualified in her match with Destine after she repeatedly rammed Destine's head into the security force field barrier surrounding the ring. Los Tamales Caliente defeated Nuss Enough when Jalapeno pinned Tough Enough with one of her signature maneuvers, the Jalapeno Roll. The Sisters at Heart defeated the BFFs when Ambrosia pinned Donald Trump with an Enziguri. The Montobellas defeated the Lady Gladiators after Destina was counted out of the ring. The Annihilators got a pinfall victory over the Samoan Vice Squad after Krogan used a 450 splash on Tika. Plain Jane White used her finisher Nothing Special to gain a pinfall victory over the Devil's Daughter Demaya. Herman Glupp put the IIW heavyweight title up for grabs in this episode's Best of Three Falls Titan Death main event as he was challenged by the Harvard Law School graduate Harvard Yale. Herman took the first fall when he pinned Harvard with his finisher, the Glop Job. Harvard battled back in the second fall and evened things up when he pinned the former Vandalia Butler High School history teacher's aide with his finisher, the Law Review. But then, in the third and final fall, Herman proved once again that he deserved to be the IIW heavyweight champion when he pinned Harvard one more time with his finisher, the Glop Drop, to hold on to the IIW strap. The first match of the December 12th episode of Collision saw the Samoan Vice Squad getting a win over the TNT boys when Sununu pinned Tracy with the Vice Squad's finisher, the Samoan Smasher. Epsilon Beta made Lord Allen Windsor tap out to one of his signature maneuvers, the unforgettable torture rack. Plain Jane White pinned the Irish brawler Irish Bratz with a snap power slam. The 18 wheelers totally dominated their match with the skyscrapers, not allowing Rex Sky to get a defensive tag to his brother Lex. In the end, Kenworth managed to pin Rex with the wheelers finisher, the fifth wheel. Los Tamales Caliente got a win over the Sweet Things when Suga was disqualified after repeatedly ramming Holly Pena's head into the security force field barrier surrounding the ring. Lady Contessa Windsor defeated the IIW transsexual Roseanne Palmer via countout. Dewey Cheatham pinned Golden Gym member Vesicchio by way of one of his despicable signature maneuvers, Lose If You Must. Nuss Enough defeated the BFFs when Brittany Hilton was disqualified for tossing a chair at Tuffy Nuff's head outside the ring as she dove off the ring apron for a double accidental attempt. Destine was disqualified in her match with Bootylicious Bertha after she repeatedly whipped Bertha into the security force field barrier surrounding the ring. Using a top turnbuckle crossbody block, the former Marine Drill Sergeant One Man Army pinned the evil former brain surgeon, Dr. Brain. 
The Annihilators defeated the Clan McFlynn when Thalos pinned LJ McFlynn with the Annihilators finisher, The Imminent Destruction. On this episode's Best of Three Falls Titan Death main event, the IIW Women's Tag Team Champions, the Queen Bees, were challenged by the Multobellas. In the first fall, Queen Bee number two hit Belladonna with the Queen Bee's finisher, the Swarm Attack, but Bella Nora managed to come into the ring and break up the pin. As the referee was escorting her back to the ring apron, the Bees blasted Belladonna with their ornamental middle stingers, which allowed Queen Bee number two to get the pinfall. And then the Bees made it two straight falls in a row to successfully defend the IIW Women's Tag Belts when Queen Bee number one pinned Belladonna with one of the Queen Bee's signature maneuvers, the Bee Sting. Coming up after this short commercial timeout, we'll continue our look at the IIW weekly television program, Collision, with the results of the December 19th and December 26th episodes. See you in a few. brushes work great and can be expensive. Now you can get the Arm & Hammer Spin Brush Sonic for about $15. It's clinically proven to remove up to 95% of plaque. Cleaning this without cleaning out this. The Arm & Hammer Spin Brush Sonic. <laughs> Don't use girls for dandruff. Use Axe Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Use the flakes. Get the girls. For the bears, it's dinner time. But these bears are not content with just a main course. They grab a pasta dish from Bear Creek. They're new. Mama Bear just adds water, and in minutes it's ready. The heartiest of pasta dishes. So creamy and rich, with seven delicious choices. They're sure to please the whole family. Try something new. Pasta dishes from Bear Creek. The heartiest taste, Bear None. You're on the same flight. We'll be on the same flight. Yeah, what we should do? Work. Anything together? Do we know? <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Dave. The big, brilliant, thin Samsung Infuse 4G. Only from the network of possibilities. AT&T. At Domino's, we've always said yes. You wanted your pizza delivered? We said yes. You wanted to track your pizza, change our 50-year-old recipe, pizza in a blizzard? Yes, yes, and yes. But when it comes to our artisan pizzas, we're saying... No. Sorry, I can't add any different toppings to artisan. With perfectly balanced toppings on a hand-stretched crust, our artisan pizzas may be our best ever. Try one for $7.99 and you'll get why we just can't change them. Can I add pepperoni? No. Mushrooms. Olives? Man, you are killing me. Now let's make that random call with today's $10,000 question. Who shot Alexander Hamilton in that famous duel? Mm -hmm. Hello, for $10,000, who mm -hmm. shot... Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, your time is up. Uh. for you all night. Thank you. Woo! 
we're back with Orion Sports and Entertainment Brochures Lap the Sports Trap for the month of January 2013. I'm David Burns, owner of Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions, and we're continuing with the results of Intergalactic Independent Wrestling's weekly television program, Collision, with a December 19th episode. The Irish Hellcat Shannon Egan's pinned the Irish brother Irish Brett in the first match of the December 19th episode of IIW Collision with her finisher calling Shenanigans. Nuss enough defeated the sisters at heart when Tough Enough made Desiree submit to her finisher Show Enough. Plain Jane White pinned Lady Contessa Windsor with her finishing maneuver Nothing Special. Bain took on the IIW terrorist Sheik Khalid Sir Han in the next matchup. Unfortunately, it was Khalid who came out on top via disqualification following a brawl outside the ring. The Lady Gladiators defeated Los Tamales Caliente when Destina pinned Spice with her finisher, Destiny Spin. The Skyscrapers defeated the Clan McFlynn when Lex Sky pinned Jason McFlynn with a small package after being thrown into the ropes by Jason. Hunter Orion pinned Harvard Yale with his finisher, the Orion's Belt. The Samoan Vice Squad faced the Cowboys from Hell in the next match. Sununu pinned Ricochet with a jumping headbutt. After the match, a bright light filled the entire arena. When it cleared, two men dressed in black suits and wearing dark sunglasses entered the ring and attacked the Cowboys. The four brawled all over the Pittsicola arena, but as soon as the brawl began to really heat up, there was another flash of light to fill the arena. When it cleared, both the Cowboys and the mysterious men disappeared. The BFFs defeated the Sweet Things in a grudge match that stemmed from the BFFs putting Penny Candy in the hospital back on October 17th after Brittany Hilton pinned Penny with her finisher, That's Hot. Bootylicious Bertha picked up a win over the IIW transsexual Roseanne Palmer when she pinned Rosie with a springboard corkscrew moonsault. The cocky loudmouth Johnny Black Knight pinned King Francois Dubois with his finisher, the Unholy Grail. The IIW Tag Team Champions Road Rage took on the Annihilators in a non-titled main event match one week before they would defend the titles against Thalos and Krogan in a best of three falls Titan Death rematch. Rage pinned Krogan with his signature move, Cage the Rage. In the first match of the December 26th episode of Collision, the TNT Boys defeated the Clam McFlynn when Terry pinned LJ McFlynn with the TNT Boys finisher, The Implosion. Plain Jane White pinned the Irish Hellcat Shannon Egans with her finishing move, Nothing Special. The sisters at heart defeated Nuffs Enough after Ambrosia got a surprise pinfall over Tough Enough by way of an enziguri. In the next match, the Sweet Things faced the Lady Gladiators in another grudge match that stemmed from Destina's role in putting Penny Candy in the hospital on October 17th. Gothica hit Penny with her finisher, the Aetherin Warhead, but Sugar was there to make the save. As the referee was escorting her back to the ring apron, Gothica and Destina nailed Penny with a double spear, knocking her out long enough for Gothica to get the pinfall. Taurus pinned Sebastian Rook with his finisher, the Bullseye. The next matchup was a tag bout between the 18-wheelers and the Cowboys from Hell. During the match, Peter Bilt tossed Ricochet into the turnbuckle, but as he was attempting to follow it up with a stinger splash, Ricochet pulled the referee in front of him and used him as a shield. Peter hit the referee instead, knocking him out for several minutes. When he came to, he disqualified both teams for the infraction. The 18 wheelers attempted to appeal this decision to interim IIW Commissioner Massive, citing that their part in knocking down the referee was purely an accident, but unfortunately there wasn't much that Massive could do and had to let the decision stand. 
Because of this latest incident, the IIW Board of Directors began discussing looking into replacing the referees with some sort of computerized referee system, complete with weight-sensitive systems built into the ring for whenever one wrestler covers another wrestler for a pin attempt. We'll update you on this breaking development as it happens. The IIW transsexual Roseanne Palmer pinned the Irish brawler Irish Brass with her finisher, the Five Sisters. Golden Gym member Fizikiel pinned the Sioux Warrior Bison with his finisher, the Fizikiel Finish. One man army added another loss to Cola Streak when he pinned the wannabe soft drink developer by way of his finisher, Taps. After the match, the Cowboys from Hell walked down the entrance ramp in order to inflict a post-match beatdown on the former Marine Drill Sergeant. But before they got halfway down to the ring, a bright flash of light filled the entire arena. When it cleared, the mysterious men in black were waiting in the middle of the entrance ramp to meet them and began brawling with the Cowboys once again. Once again, as the brawl began to really heat up between the four men, the bright light flashed, and once it had cleared, both the men in black and the cowboys had disappeared. Los Tomates Caliente defeated the BFFs when Holly Pena pinned Brittany Hilton with her finisher, the Picante. The first half of the double main event was the best of three falls dead and death rematch for the IIW tag team titles between the Annihilators and the current IIW tag champs, Road Rage. In the first fall, Road Rage picked up the victory when Rage pinned Krogan with Road Rage's finisher, the Devastation. The second fall was the fastest recorded fall in IIW history as the Annihilators evened things up with only one move after Krogan pinned Rage with a sidewalk slam. And then in the third and final fall, the Annihilators once again became the IIW Tag Team Champions when Krogan pinned Rage with the Annihilators finisher, the Eminent Destruction. And finally, in the second half of the double main event, Damaya, the Devil's Daughter, in a warm-up match for her rematch on January 2nd, 2127, against the current IIW Women's Champion, Misfit, pinned Bootylicious Bertha with her finishing move, the Devil's Seat. We're going to take our last commercial break, and when we return, it'll be time for the results of Pride and Honor Fighting number 10, which took place on December 29th, 2126, at the Pitico Arena. So don't go too far. We'll be right back. It's a scorcher out there, folks. Stay refreshed. Hey, boys. I have an idea. New Lipton Tea and Honey. Sweetened with honey, made from real tea leaves and real fruit flavors. Mm. That is so good. Lipton Tea and Honey. Real is refreshing. It's never felt so real. No, it's never felt so right. New Lipton Tea and Honey. Lipton. Drink positive. Introducing new All Mighty Packs, our most concentrated all ever. Packed with All's active stain lifters, each pack has more cleaning power per ounce to help tackle tough dirt and stains the first time. New All Mighty Packs, powerful clean, mighty results. Let's go down, up, one, You don't two, try to finish Papa XT, try to survive it. Five. It incorporates a full body workout, so you're hitting every muscle group, you're constantly moving from one movement to the next movement, hitting different muscle groups. Fire up. You're pushing yourself mentally. This is tap out. Come and get it. Mike is a great guy, you know, and he's very motivating, charismatic, upbeat, and you know, you want to follow him. Not only am I doing the workout, I'm doing it in a fool. He's making sure everybody's having fun with it. Tap out, baby. And making you want to work out. In MMA, you have to be in the best shape possible, and we got that way for a reason, you know, going through our training, and uh, Tap Out XT incorporates a lot of that training, even myself and the other fighters here, you know, and getting it down and doing it day in and day out, you're really going to see some results. You got core, you got lunges, you got different twists and push-ups and sit-ups. 
Let's get this done. I've been an athlete my whole life, and I'm in MMA right now, which is one of the hardest sports in the world. We got punches, we got knees, elbows, all the MMA movements, the kicks. It's never boring. It's something different every time. It's intense. You get you know, get your cardio up. You're getting sweaty. Yeah, we do type out XT at home and on the road. It's something to keep you in tip top shape. It's not easy, but it's you know you get results. Tap out XT. Come and get it. in your energy drink. Power search. Let it blow your mind. For fruits, veggies, and natural green tea energy, new V8 V Fusion Plus Energy. Could have had a V8. You won the D Snyder Weekend! Woo! Nobody cleans the rock and roll out of your carpet like Stanley Steamer for carpet, wood, and tile. Stanley Steamer gets Psst. Ever wonder if there's more out there? How did you know? Your lunch says it all. Upgrade your meal with Wendy's new signature sides, like our chili cheese fries or baked sweet potatoes. Sides that make the meal. That's Wendy's way. Now that's better. To make it strong, you build something out of nothing. Thread by thread, piece by piece. Every fiber, every stitch. Never fade, never break. All I am on the inside can be seen through who I am on the outside. We're back with our final statement on Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions Galactic Sports app for the month of January 2013. I'm David Barnes, owner of Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions, and now it's time to look at the results of Pride and Honor Fighting Number 10, which took place at the Pitico Arena on December 29, 2126. Before the first bout took place, a representative of the PHF Board of Directors entered the five-sided ring and informed the fans that beginning January 4th, 2127, Pride and Honor Fighting will be adding a weekly television program, PHF Affliction, to their monthly schedule. Affliction will feature mostly non-title fights, preferring to save the title matches for the monthly paper hole views. The first bout of the evening saw Casey Walsh defeating the King of Jive Bob Charlie in the welterweight division at 2 minutes 9 seconds of the first round by tap out by way of an arm crank. The fastest knockout of the night went to El Toro local Carlos Torres in the heavyweight division who took out the tank Sherman Abrams at 35 seconds of the first round with a side kick. Rena Gracie defeated Pandora Stephanopoulos at 3 minutes 44 seconds of the third round in the women's division by tap out by way of a knee bar. In the middleweight division, Jazaki knocked out Sidewinder at 55 seconds of the second round with a jumping knee. Top Gun Langley Wright knocked out Heinrich Von Maher in the second middleweight bout of the night at 2 minutes 52 seconds of the second round with two jabs and a right cross. Horn and Dory Marler went the full 15 minutes in the light heavyweight division fight, putting the decision in the hands of the judges who awarded the victory to Dorian 29-28. The next match was also put into the hands of the judges 
as the Grizzlies Shane Bear and Breno Salsa went the distance in their heavyweight division match. When the decision was rendered, Breno Salsa was declared the winner 29-28. In the second light heavyweight bout of the night, Ethan the Machine Mercer defeated the Golden Samurai Manchu Lin at 4 minutes 54 seconds of the third round by tap out by way of a Mataleo. In the second women's division match of the evening, Flower Power Joshi Lin knocked out Catherine Gracie at 4 minutes 52 seconds of the second round with the Thorns of the Rose punch combination. Sanctuary defeated Mutai in the third women's bout of the night at 2 minutes 9 seconds of the first round by tap out by way of a gladiator choke. In the third middleweight division match of the evening, Fireball Joe Thomas knocked out Zersamati in the second fastest bout of the night at 36 seconds of the first round with an elbow uppercut. In the third light heavyweight bout of the night, crybaby Todd Lair knocked out Valsarillier at 4 minutes 45 seconds of the third round with his signature Brazilian kick thrust kick combination. Ching Ling and the Irish Lele Angus McAfee went the time limit in the second heavyweight division match of the night. When the judges finished their deliberations, they awarded the match to the Andromedan Panda 29-28. In the second welterweight division match of the night, Aaron Cornell knocked out the face of MMA at 3 minutes 7 seconds of the third round with a blast to the jaw. And in the final match of the evening, Mapur knocked out Gold Bloon at 3 minutes 44 seconds of the first round to successfully retain the PHF heavyweight division title. And that's all the time we have for this edition of the Ryan Sports and Entertainment Version Lap the Sports Round. This program was written and produced by David Barnes, utilizing the 4.0 version of the Sony Asset Music Creation Program and Windows Movie Maker. All news featured in this program are based on matches played based upon and utilizing the rules and gaming systems for the Filter Games published Champions of the Galaxy Wrestling Game and the Filter Games published Pleiades Outlaw Warfare Mixed Martial Arts Game. This program is created with written permission of Pilsner Games and any rebroadcast over any airwave or internet site without the express written permission of its creator David Barnes is strictly prohibited. For more information about the Champions of the Galaxy Wrestling Game or the Pleiades Outlaw Warfare Mixed Martial Arts Game, visit www.pilsnergames.com. So until next month, for all of us at Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions, we wish you a pleasant day and invite you to join us again next month for another edition of Orion Sports and Entertainment Promotions to lap the sports round.